smiling hello smiling hello hello brothers and sisters people of the world christians non-christians people alike human beings with souls yo this is part two of my run series of by beyonce beyonce queen b beyonce let's get into it and let's talk let's talk about why we in 2024 should no longer be listening to beyonce we should no longer be listening to secular music more together it's becoming more and more apparent that the music industry is dark twisted has demonic ties to the pits that nobody wants to go to there's a lot of channeling going on there's a lot of demon possession going on there's a lot of activities within strange flesh and when i say that our bodies are a temple of god god is a clean god he does not like defilement thou shalt not commit adultery that is sins against your body when you are married participating in acts with people outside of your marriage god frowns upon it he does not like it if you are not married you should not be intimate with anybody the gift of intimacy was specifically given as a gift for married couples when you are married to each other you're also married to god as well it's a holy sacrament that should be kept pure and the music industry why is it a constant requirement in the music industry for the defilement of flesh for acts of an abomination why is it required to be unclean why is it required that you must be an abomination to God? Why is it required for so many tears and torture of children? Why are people and children being SA violated on numerous occasions in a ritualistic act? Why is the youth of a child robbed from them to the point when even when they are an adult and free from their captures, the torment of what have happened to them in their past, they cannot break free. We have Justin Bieber. We have Usher. We have Britney Spears who cut her hair. So many child actors, singers, musicians, so many people that have been through Hollywood in their youth, they are tortured souls. Why are they amongst so many child violators? Why is this required for Hollywood? There's something not right. And this year, 2024, people have been exposing it from before, but this year the veil has been uncovered. So we need to we, we need to now put on the full armor of God and act right. And the king and queen of R and B, Beyonce, and her husband, who likes to refer to himself as a god, there is no other god other than God. God will not be mocked. The sanctity of marriage shall not be mocked with the numerous affairs with so many different artists and which has also destroyed the careers of artists. Allegedly, I say allegedly for now, for the integrity of my channel, nothing has been proven yet in a court of law. Affairs allegedly with Tia Marie. The affair was so bad to the point that her career was snatched from her. And Beyonce was, and Rihanna at the time was given the pass to excel because Beyonce allegedly saw Tia Marie as a threat because her husband just couldn't get enough, allegedly. What about Maya, who no longer has a career or whose career was shut down short because of an alleged affair? What about Blue Control, whose career was shut short because of an alleged affair with Jay-Z? What about Kathy White? who's been six foot under. There's so many rumors, and I'll say allegedly, that she was impregnated with a baby from Jay-Z. Beyonce found out, and it went crazy. All we know, Kathy White was going to expose her relationship, her situationship about her and Jay-Z to the papers. A few days later, she was deleted. Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. And at this point in time, I'm not even sure if um, Beyonce and Jay-Z were married again. I think they were just living in open fornication. And just because so many people fornicate doesn't mean it's right. When you do things outside the realm and protection of God, it leads to torment. It leads to tortures. How many women's careers have been destroyed because of alleged affairs? Because of dealing with somebody else? And all of this was done outside of marriage. 
And now that they are married, Beyonce and Jay-Z, I think there's still more. Maybe it's just a lot more hidden. That's why the Lemonade era came out. Because Beyonce was sick and tired of her husband continuously cheating on her. She didn't want to leave him for the Becky with the good hair. But even in that album itself, wasn't she not mocking God? Saying how she would use her menses, her menstrual cycle? and she will wipe it on scriptures of the bible god will not be mocked and god does not take things like that lightly there is judgment coming and all i can say beyonce you once knew god repent we all need to repent everybody needs to repent we are all sinners if you have not heard the master's prophecy blog i would encourage you to listen to it there is a powerful lady that has been used by God that is speaking so much truth about the industry. She exposed a lot of things that is coming out now about the diddler, about T.D. Jakes, about lots of world events that are happening, not just in the music industry, but around the world. She has spoken about it. And I would urge you to listen to her videos. I'll put the link and everything in the description. Listen to it. And don't take my word. Don't even take somebody else's word as truth. This is a time to read your Bible. We need to connect to God. We are definitely live, living in a different phase of the world. What is done in the dark is coming to the light. Everything is merging together. I do believe that we are entering into the, to the end days, to the phase of the end days. Does that mean the world will end next year, tomorrow, in five or ten years time or a hundred years? I don't know. I don't have those answers. It's only God. But I do feel that there is a spiritual shift. And we are entering into a new era and part of this new era is exposing the darkness the darkness that so many of us in the world have grown to love adore or like so many christians listen to beyonce and that's part of why she did her uh, her renaissance album she even talked about the good girls gone bad from church about the church girls so she knows who her audience is she knows she's got a lot of christians tapping to her songs and i myself i mentioned it in my last video i have listened to her i've even introduced her to my children i've played her music in my house we watched black as king and we were so happy that beyonce was incorporating her talent her influence a level of fame to African music coming Nigerian. I couldn't believe it. We all went wild. We watched everything in our house. We were like, yeah, it's pro black, but we didn't know what entities we were inviting into our house. She was channeling Mammy Water Marine Kingdom energy and promoting it as blackness. You do not need to be into witchcraft to be black. You do not need to worship your ancestors to be black. Stay true to the Bible. And the God that rescued us from Egypt, from slavery, will be the same God that will save us. So many times, so many things that's happened to God be God's people over the years, and if you read your Bible, so many things that happened to the Israelites is because they stopped worshipping God. They put other people, other persons, other stars, celebrities. Beyonce now is seen as, as, as a goddess. She has a religious following. God says, I shall have no other God besides me. I am a jealous God. God wants your worship. God created us. It's because of him we are alive, we are safe, we are well, whether we sin or don't sin. So we need to show appreciation. We need to forgo what is wrong. And thank God a lot of the hidden things that was wrong in this world, it's been exposed. This is our time to repent. This is our time to change. This is our time to right our wrongs and come back to our true worship of God. This is the chance, especially now where things are being exposed. The diddler is being exposed. The diddler and his influence in the industry, the way he has tortured and tormented so many souls that just wanted to use their gift, their talent of acting and dancing, but instead had to attend regular freak-offs. Instead, they had to use their body as an abomination. They had to participate in acts of the abomination, which is not of God. How many youths have been destroyed because of holy word? How many of them? All they wanted to do was sing, act, and dance. And these are all gifts from God. God even said that we should use our gifts and multiply it. But why is the gifts that God has, has given us, why is it being intertwined with darkness? That's what the issue is. Why is it being intertwined with, with darkness? Most of the things that we are getting out of Holy Word is dark, is demonic. 
has a lot of um, um, entities being transferred onto the people. So we need to stop. Beyonce, Beyonce, you once knew God. Repent, come back to God. Confess all of your sins. Let young girls know what is going on. I do believe a lot of the things that happened to Cassie, Beyonce's had to go through it as well. What does it profit a man to win the world but to lose your soul? Because if the devil can even tempt Jesus Christ and tell him, just bow down to me and I'll give you the world, do you not think he's done that to all the stars of this world today? A lot of these stars, to be this bright star that they are in the world today, they had to trade something. And most of the time, it's their flesh. They're trading it up in acts of the abomination. That's why so many of the deadless parties were required. It's a ritual. Those parties and freak off sessions are regular in Hollywood, allegedly. And the diddler is not the only one. And I'm not trying to back him, not at all, because it's evident of his crimes, allegedly. It's evident that he's a monster, allegedly. It's evident that so many lives have been affected in a negative way. So many males have been broken into, their gates have been shattered by the abuse, allegedly. So many girls, young girls, there's been reports of girls being violated. I think some of them have even been virgins at a very young age, violated because of the diddler and his, his associates in his ritualistic events. Also that he can have influence in the industry. Also that he could be a gatekeeper in the industry. And so many people have gone mad. And how does this all tie into Beyonce? Well, it does. Because the word on the street is Jay-Z is no different. He does a lot of the same things as the diddler. But the word on the street is he's a lot more smarter in the sense that he's been able to hide it as much. There's not as many cracks, not obvious cracks. But where there's smoke, there is fire. And as smart as someone may think they are, you cannot hide everything from God. God sees all. He will not be mocked. He sees all. And he's tired of seeing the sacrament of marriage being defiled openly in the public. A husband should love his wife. A husband is a covering to his wife. Do not be harsh. Do not pimp out your wife. Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. But in the realm of the spirit, the spirit talks and God will not be mocked. Thank you guys for listening and tune in to the next one. And if you haven't, like and subscribe. And I'd like to hear your comments in the comment section. Thank you. Bye. And read your Bible. That's it. Read your Bible. You can even listen to your Bible on audio. You can get a free trial. Just look at the link in the description box. Tap onto the link. You can get a free trial for 30 days. But I also would recommend a physical Bible as well. Definitely have a physical Bible. So you can always go back and check on the information that you need. God loves you. You are blessed. The fact that you are here today means your soul is redeemed. Can be redeemed. And you can spread the gospel to others. Thank you. Bye. You know.